what's going on guys uh anyway uh so uh, today we are about to talk about the drafting gfs strategies for november 27 2018. anyway while i'm here guys uh man basically the month is over it's crazy uh the year is basically done so anyway uh the show is consists of four segment segment one as you guys know is a look back at my picks for the night before well, it was a crazy night uh, as far as the other segment uh, segment two will be price differences between FD and DK always uh, trying to find 1k price differences or more between the two players from different between that, that one player in, in between that one player in between that one player on FD and DK oh like I said it's 1k price differences and uh, segment three is a uh, while well, most of you guys probably here to uh, for the current slate picks, the current slate picks, which is for tonight, and uh, that consists of three core players, one cheap players, and the star of the night. And then segment four is a list of compilation of cheap players that are put together and uh, that can complement your lineups. That can complete your lineups and anything else uh, that I want to add before I let you guys go. So, uh, to start with, let's go to uh, let's go to segment one. So, segment one, then we're gonna take a look back at the five picks that I had. So, uh, the total points is one and one hundred and eighty three point seventy five, and uh, tonight was very high scoring. So. And Rubio was, uh, I don't know, uh, what should I say about Rubio? Uh, oh my god, Utah sometimes just they just look bad. I mean, they got blown out by 40 points. I mean, come on, guys. So, of course, there's no way Stars gonna be in that game. Basically, nobody in that start, starting mode did anything because they got blown out. And Asman, um, Will call for Bankton, I guess, but that be on him today. He only returned 21, which is a 4.2x. Everything, everybody else was really good. Uh, holiday, this guy's been really good. Even though I was, I thought he was gonna get a little bit more, but 36.5 with a 7.6 return, you cannot beat that. Hood um, started work, but pick it up. Uh, cylinder with 18 in the first half, so I was hoping he can get us on the third if he only gave you 28.5, but that's a 6.8x return. KD, I mean, <laughs> KD was 7, gave you 78, nothing else to add, 7.2 return. Uh, as far as hood, I changed my uh, chip picks. Uh, actually, if you go back to the video from yesterday, you'll see that I put in the bottom that I will change it to hood since uh Noaba was out so i'm like hey, might as well do that so i changed that uh it, the picks i had before was really wasn't bad either so all right now we're gonna go of course to segment three i mean uh segment two so for segment two uh let's go to segment two so uh, Price differences. So five daily NBA price differences between FD and DK. And as far as I got six, so I got you guys an extra one tonight, today. I mean, so uh, Gasol, that's Mark Gasol, is 10k. That's really high. I'm not playing him at all in FD, uh, but but in DK he's only put 8.9k. That's a 1.k price differences. Juan. I already played Juman at 10.6. Do not play Gasol at 10k in FD. But Juman at 9.6. Uh, that's a 1k difference. So if that's a 1k difference, you have Conley. Uh, I love his price on DK, but that looks like it's going to be a defensive game. So we'll see. Uh, 8.8k on FD and 7.7 in DK. And Jaren JJJ, Triple J. Well, John Jackson Jr. is 7.1k in FD and 5.8k in DK. I love this price in DK at 
if you can stay out of foul trouble, this guy can have a high ceiling. And Harris Dendry, Harris, he's 6.8k and 5.6 in uh, DK as uh, for a 1.2k return. The thing about Harris, he's uh, right now questionable, but he look at, I mean, look like he's gonna play tomorrow. So he's poke bro. And uh, ball, you know, ball like a bunch man. You gotta know how good you are. You gotta have the confidence on yourself, but. Hopefully, you know, he listen to the bone and come out tomorrow and show people hey, why I was a high draft pick. So, 6.7k in FD, I don't like that price at all. But DK at 5.6, yeah, he can be balling in my uh, lineup. So, now let's go to the main reason, of course, you guys are here, which is the current slate. So, we're gonna go to DraftKings. Alright, so as far as my first pick in DraftKings, uh, you know, for that slate, when you look, there's not really a lot of ex Lebron James is the most expensive at 10.9k. That's a good, great price, right? Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing a lot of Lebron in tomorrow. So anyway, let's start. So the first pick, of course, I'm gonna go with is uh. Kuzma. Kuzma can do a little bit of everything and he's playing Denver and Harris is banged up so uh, I like Kuzma for that 5.2 price and uh, he, get the, he gets the minute so he just needs to uh, go ahead and do his thing which he's capable of giving a little bit of everything so you know I would like to see a block here and there, you know. So, so um, it would be my. It went up a little bit, but 5.2. That's nothing. He went up 200. So he got 35 in last game. It was a close game. So I think this game will be close, of course, against who they are playing. So Kuzma is will be uh, one of my core players. As far as my second core player, I'm gonna go ahead and play uh, Jalen Jackson. Jalen Jackson. The problem is they're playing Toronto. Toronto is a, good, a very great defensive team, but not good at the power forward position. So. I just hope they don't match him with um, Kawhi so he won't get in foul trouble because this guy sometimes he can pile up those fouls really quick. Could get you three fouls in a matter of five, ten minutes. So let's hope he stays out of foul trouble. So, but he has a very high ceiling. So Triple J will be my second. And as far as my last guy, I have a lot of choices. And I have a, I think because of who Toronto is playing, I think Valanciunas will be the starter tomorrow. So Valanciunas will be my next player, and uh, and they're gonna need him against Gasol. So and Gasol doesn't really shoot threes like that. He's more like on, on the day basket player so you know so I can see him play let's see when he start let's see damn about it this guy doesn't play a minute so uh but I will play Valentinus but if I decide to change it during the day uh, I will post that on uh, YouTube and uh, I'm telling you right now guys if I do most likely, I will go with Reggie Jackson. All right, so most likely I'll go with Reggie Jackson. So for my cheap player of the night, that's another player. Most likely I might change too. Most likely I might change if because this guy, I mean, and who I'm talking about because you know my cheap player got to be 4.5 and below, and one guy that's been really good at that price is Bam Bam. You guys won't believe that. Look at this. 50. 
to 16.50. I think Miami should. Um, that's my team. I leave down here. Uh, I think Miami should trade uh, uh, goat side and give Ben Ben the job. You know, try to bring someone. Uh, yeah, just trade goat side and give Ben Ben the job. Ben Ben is the real deal, and Ben Ben probably a better defensive player than goat side. Even though goat side do a lot of blocking and stuff like that, because he's always going out for them. So Bam Bam is to be my chief player, and uh, so that's my chief player. And for my ex, the star of the night, you know, you see, I, I before the star of the night, I'm going, I'm not taking Juman, I'm taking LeBron or Kawhi, I'm going with Blake Griffin. Big Griffin for my star of the night. So, again, uh, I do have Valentinus there, and you guys can also, you know, choose to take him out and put Reggie Jackson because if you got Reggie Jackson, it's, and you know, uh, you can use it to complete, complete that lineups. Reggie Jackson, look at that. He's finally getting some minutes back. The last two games playing over 30 minutes. And the good thing is both of them are wins, so maybe they're like, okay, that's why we need to do so, you know. And he's dishing out uh, eight sixes, so that's really good. So uh, the best assist game he had in the last ten games, and he he get this, he giving you at least a steal in the last four games. So Reggie Jackson is gonna be a player that I'm playing a lot. In my lineup, so my I might actually have a core four players rather than three. So those are my five players. The Griffin most of the time is not going to disappoint you. So and that's somebody that will play at least 35 minutes. When was the last time Blake Griffin doesn't play 35 minutes? Uh, that's when he had the bad shootings back on 11, 11 against Charlotte, and he basically was a blowout. So that's one of the reasons. It wasn't even that close, even though it's only 10. They're showing you a 10 point case at the end. So that's basically it. So now we're gonna go to the Ports Mag and look at the cheap players. For the cheap players, the cheap is for DraftKings November 27, 2018. Uh, I've been in there. Who else my? You guys already see him. On my uh, cheap of the night. For the day uh, at 4k over 30 fantasy points the last two games including 15 Whew. I didn't play him guys so Bambui has been great the last two games I miss him both times I saw that and I'm like you know he's not gonna repeat it uh, I stay away from him hey 35-39 Bambui of course both losses but He's been getting 26, 27 minutes, which very surprised me, especially with the fact that Collins is back, and but he's getting decent minutes. So Ben is another guy, and uh, that I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna be on him, lad, but I will have a two or three lineups with him. Uh, Tempo, this guy play a lot of minutes, but he doesn't do enough. Here and there, he might have like a 40 fantasy points out of nowhere, and then he can also play 40 minutes and give you 10 fantasy points or even less. A trail uh, 3.7k play over 25 minutes last two games. Uh, let's see uh, them real quick. Trail, all right, so trail is playing 22 minutes, 34 minutes. But uh, his fantasy is very limited, so I'm not choosing him at all. But uh, but he's the one guy people might want to think about, and uh, other people that I have on that list consists of Holiday at 2.6k, over 26 points in the last two games. But as Depot is already announced out, so with Depot out, Holiday should see a good minutes. So. I like Zippo for tomorrow. Uh, I will use him plumbly. We got. 
and it's calmly I always think this guy is decent, it's just that I guess I don't know what it is, the team doesn't want to give him love in this because I thought when he was in uh, what team did he play for? Oh yeah, Portland. I thought he was going to be there for a while. I thought he was going to stay there and be started there, but somehow they didn't like him. But, look at this guy. 21 minutes, 21 minutes, and still, look at that. 44 fantasy points. That's more than two per minute. And the good thing is they won. So they might think about getting a little bit more minutes. So, the last three, he gave 27 or more, and they won all three. So give the guy his minutes up. Okay, 22 minutes, 21 minutes, I'll take him. Alright guys, so let's see the rest of the list. Uh, you have Galloway, consistent minutes, but in and out, I mean, uh, if, the only way I would play him, unless if I have 2.5 k left for a guard position or point guard, and there's nobody else in my put him in there. But if somehow I can go to holiday, I'd rather use him. And Hart. Hart is. I mean, you remember Hart in the beginning of the season? Everybody loved Hart, want to play him. But the Lakers went away from him, but they are winning. So whatever they are doing is working right now. So I don't see him, you know, getting any. They love him, but right now it's probably the best thing for them. So Hart, uh, I, I might take a chance on him. I would rather take a chance on him than Hart, Hart Galloway, but. It's not looking good for him at all so so that's basically uh, my list and anything else I need to add is uh, you know Wade hey man Wade is letting you guys know he still got it so if you look at Wade last game a lot of you guys might not believe it but Wade had 52 52 fantasy points that is insane. He played 34 minutes. I guess, you know, having that baby making him feel younger. So, alright, guys. And I like this guy, but he's been very disappointed. Evans. Evans. But today was a blowout again. He started the game great in a bad second quarter and then. Third quarter start is starting it good but blew out so of course he didn't play much after that. Uh, Prince is only uh, 5.2k and uh, played 33 minutes but he didn't do much with it. Didn't do much with it. They won too but he only had 18. So he only take 30 he usually take more shots than that so. Uh, Boge. We have Boj, Bojnanovic. Let's see. All right, so let's go to Indiana. Yeah, I like him to more at 4.9k. So I didn't. Oops. The thing about this guy, he always plays somehow playing 30 some minutes in the house or not. They're always playing. So I like him tomorrow a little bit. And uh, I told you guys about Reggie. So I like Reggie tomorrow. And uh, that's another person I'm probably use. So I left you guys at 6.633. Average left, so there's a lot of you guys can do do in there. So you guys can add another star in there, and um, or do whichever way you guys can. Uh, so that's it, guys. Good luck, guys, and I uh, wish you guys the best, and uh, wish you guys win some money. As always, say, don't use money, don't play money that you cannot afford to lose, and. Uh, if you do play, play responsibly and uh, I hope you guys win some money just like I hope I win some money too and uh, I appreciate everything so I will see you guys next time again. Good luck. I'm out.